things is to try and get the animators to, to pantomime with their body. So we had instituted these uh, mime classes. Taking those classes helped us be aware of our body and helped us be aware of, of what we were doing and how we were moving and how our foot moves when we take a step. And those are the things that the animator has to think about because those are the things they have to duplicate to get reality. So another interesting thing that we did is because we wanted to make sure that we were really had our heads in the right place, that we were dinosaurs, we used to go outdoors and run around pretending we were gallimimuses or T-Rexes, you know, hunting each other and shoot film. Also to give us an idea of how an animal in motion would look, at least if we were that animal. We were running around with our hands like this, thinking we were gallimimuses, and uh, we watched ourselves and how we move. Because the galleys were bipedal, and humans are bipedal, um, there's a certain amount that you can get from that, watching to see how you shift your weight and things like that. As research continued at ILM, Phil Tippett's Go Motion animators searched for a way to apply their traditional skills 